2024 Zinger 21C is finally here in the form of a car pack here in Forza Horizon 5. So it's five dollars United States dollars. Convert that to your currency, if you will. This thing does have 1,230 horsepower, 737 foot pounds of torque. It weighs 3,009 pounds. It does have a 2.88 liter engine, or 2.9 liter engine. It's all-wheel drive at S2 class. Absolutely insane. This thing is an extreme track toy there's some massive massive front splitter and canards up here in the front those are some ankle and shin breakers and a half if i do say so myself um carbon fiber side skirt with coming over to the back yeah that carbon fiber diffuser with a lot of ventilation over here on the back i love how the ventilation looks though like the shapes that looks really really cool it looks like a spider web sort of and then you have this massive massive Carbon fiber rear deck wing looking absolutely amazing providing so much downforce to keep you going straight This is how the zinger looks with all of its doors open. It looks absolutely insane. Like look at that. That looks crazy That's at, like look at how massive that door freaking panel is man. It goes from the front like all the way to the back It is in why am I going down? What's going what's happening? And you have the engine over here on the back looking sublime Look at the suspension component right there. Look at that that is some detail and a half. That looks so cool. The innards of cars like these that like you don't really see the insides of, they always look so amazing. And look at that. Look at that exhaust. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Sitting inside of the Zinger 21 seat, we have access to a lot of buttons and switches right here on the side. And the only button that I can actually make out besides those door switches that are on the bottom is the hazard light. That's the only light that I can make out from there for real. Every other light, I have no idea what, or every other button, I don't know what it does. I can't really see from where I'm sitting. Um, but it looks sick, dude. Carbon fiber cockpit. It looks like a mono cockpit, if I'm being honest. Um, roll cage on the inside. So, visibility, I feel like it's super limited. Like, look at that. Like, that honestly doesn't look like you have any visibility whatsoever. Mind your ears if you're wearing headphones like me, because I'm going to do a sound test of the engine. So, three, two, one, and go. <laughs> Ooh, wow so i think we have like a limiter on the rev gauge so it's not really letting us rev all the way up but it still sounds nice hold up there's actually a rear seat in this car too it's right there that is a tight squeeze and a half to actually have another person sit right there that is insane we're here at playa soul circuit in the zinger 21c holy shoot revs to about 11.2 thousand rpm we're running oh shoot Chill move get out of the way thank you we're about 160 miles an hour going into fifth gear oh it'll freaking corner like there's no tomorrow seventh place currently oh dude it's scream hey chill bro what the heck what the heck's wrong with you diva who the frick why'd you wake up on the wrong side of the bed man you, you chose violence how did i miss that checkpoint that's bull this car is amazing it corners so well the only downside is that it's all-wheel drive so cornering does suffer a little bit you can tell that it wants to understeer but like right there it understeers but for the most part it corners amazing man it is insane moving on to the third lap we are in seventh place i passed this guy up here but then this freaking devo decided to push me into a wall and now it's ahead of me the ai in this game is getting way more aggressive by the day and every single update they get a lot more aggressive it is insane However, this, okay, how are those Devos taking corners like that? I have all the aerodynamics possible. There's no way, bro. That's insane. There's some, there's definitely some rubber banding and a half going on. I think some better tires, maybe some slick race tires are going to do good for us. But uh, as of right now, we kind of suck in its stock form. We're at the top of S2 class too at 998. I feel like as soon as we upgrade one thing, we're going to go all the way up to X class and that's going to be even more insane. Seems to me like we're going to take it in 8th place, unfortunately, but the Zinger still looks amazing, man. It is such a cool looking and weird, funky looking car, man. For real. We're at the upgrade shop. Let's see what kind of stuff we can do to this car. So we only have a drivetrain uh, swap or conversion, so we can't mess with the engine in terms of swapping the engine. We do have some better tires. Let's do slick race tire compound. We are already at X class. That's insane. We only have the ability to make the front wheel bigger. Not going to do that. But we do have track width front and back. Let's definitely do that. Coming over to platform and handling, we only have suspension upgrades. And it's only rally and drift suspension, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to leave it on the stock suspension because that's race. There is no brake upgrade, so that's going to make us suffer a little bit. And the only other upgrade we can do is anti-lag. 
I'm not going to do that. I feel like anti lag is a little bit too much. So we only have 1230 horsepower from the factory that we can actually race in. We do have about three factory paint colors. We have this blue, we have this like brushed aluminum, and then we have a white. I sort of like this gray color. I think it extenuates all of the accents very nicely. So I'm definitely going to be rocking this color for this car. Coming back to Playa Azul with only two meaningful upgrades, which is going to be the transmission. I threw in a 10 speed transmission and it does have better tires. We were not able to, you know, make the tires bigger either, which is stupid, but we do have track width. So maybe that'll help us around corners a little bit. Oh, wow. Wow, we are, I feel like we're a little bit faster than before. Eighth place currently. Ooh, wow, the turning is way better. Those those freaking slick race tire compounds are helping us a lot right now. Get out of the way, please. Get out of the way, please. You freaking radical. Moving on to the third lap, we are in third place. About to pass second right here. Ooh, I threw a, I threw a whole freaking barrel at him. That was crazy. All right, second place. I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up to first. He's actually zooming quite a bit. Ooh, brakes. Oh wow, dude, the brakes are so good for some weird reason. I think it's those tire upgrades for real. Oh shoot, come on. There we go. I think it's a Bugatti Devo, so already cheating at that point. Because for some reason, those Devos take corners like there's no tomorrow. Here we go. Oh, we're catching up though. Alright, come on, we're catching up. He's right there. Oh, push him a little bit. There we go. Rubbing his racing. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna break late. I could not break late. Jesus Christ, he got me. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, 158 across the line. We are in second place. That's a lot better than stock form, man. At eighth place in its stock form, I think those tire upgrades really, really help this car, especially that 10-speed transmission. Let's take this thing to the highway and do a top speed run. Here we are at the highway. We're going to do a top speed run. We're going to launch control this thing at 7,000 RPM launch control. Three, two, one, and go. Ooh, that's a lot of wheel spin. There we go. Third gear, still wheel spinning. Fourth gear into 120 going into fifth gear. 150 going into 6th gear, 7th gear, rocking about 190 miles an hour currently, going into 200 going into 8th gear, absolutely insane, absolutely mental, it sounds pretty nice, this car, I like it, however, I do think it is kind of slow compared to a lot of other cars in its category, just because of how much aerodynamic this thing has, it is going to be very, very slow, but it is super stable at speeds of up to 200 plus miles an hour. We're rocking currently 223, and we are rock solid stable currently. But it does feel really slow. 230 miles an hour in this game does feel a little bit slow. I know a lot of the faster cars are rock rocking maybe 270, close to 280, and then you have those insane Jescos and, and uh, Lotus Avias doing about 300 plus miles an hour, so... This thing is on the slower side, but it is a lot more stable than those other vehicles. Here we go. Going, about to go downhill. I'm going to shift into 10th gear. 229, 230, 231, 32, 33. Come on. Nope. 232 miles an hour is going to cap this vehicle in its top speed run. I do think that these corners up ahead that a lot of cars like to fail at, this thing's going to do excellent in them. 230 currently. Taking a breeze on the first corner, 227 drops down a little bit in speed. This corner, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, actually a little bit oversteer, actually. Like I smacked that fence at 220 miles an hour. That's insane, man. Final verdict for this car, I'm iffy on it, okay? It's a nice car, it does well. However, there's a certain amount of lack of upgrades to this thing. So you can't do an engine swap, you can't really mess with the body, you can't really do anything. And you can't really add power to this car either. So I think it is not worth it. However, it does come in a car pack. So if we come over here to store, right? Go over here to car packs. It does come with the American Automotive car pack. So five bucks, it gets you that Trail Boss, the Celine, a cool super van, and this uh, Zinger SC or 21C, which I don't know. Like I said, buying the car pack is worth it. But buying like the car by itself, if you had to buy it by itself, I don't think it's worth it. This car is slow. No engine upgrades, no body mods. It's it's kind of boring, to be honest with you. Anyways, there you have it. This was the 21 Zinger. I know a lot of people don't really care for this car, but it's it's there, right? It's in the car pass, and it's uh, available to anybody who buys the car pass. So, thanks a ton for watching. Truly hope you guys did enjoy. Smack the like button, subscribe for new channel post notifications. Share with your friends. 
almost at 3,000 subs. We need about 30 more people to subscribe for 3,000. I might be doing a giveaway at 3,000 subs. So stay tuned for that if you guys do want to check out, check out that giveaway here on the channel. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have an outstanding day. Catch you guys in the next video.